This video is going to cover the topic of proportional tables and equations. Be sure the date and topic are at the top of the page. The essential question for this video is how do we write equations from tables of proportional relationships? First, however, just a couple of reminders about proportional relationships. The first is that in proportional proportional relationships, all of the data points, all of the relationships between the variables have the same ratio, and the ratio is consistent. And in proportional relationships, all of the data points include the point zero, zero going through the origin. So with those reminders, here we have our kind of pointers for writing equations. The equation always includes the unit rate. The fancy way to think about this is the phrase, the constant of proportionality, and we actually use the letter k to represent that, the variable k, because that stands for constant in German. So k is what you'll see for that. And in our equation form, k, our constant, is also the coefficient, so it's right here, and equations would look like y equals kx, whatever k might be. Our constant might be, or excuse me, our um, unit rate might be, that becomes our coefficient. So here's a table that shows a proportional relationship. And I know this is proportional because the ratio of each pair of variables is the same. And I'll kind of point that out here. And let me do that by writing the ratio of y to x in fraction form. So I took all my pairs of y and x and wrote them as ratios, and in all of these, the ratio would be 4, right? So this is a nice constant ratio, it's not changing, um, and so the unit rate for x and y, the connection between them would be 4. And that's useful information because that means our k, the value of k, is 4, right? Our unit rate is 4, and so in our equation, our coefficient is also going to be 4. And I know that if I want to figure out what y is, right, I have my y variable, if I multiply x times 4, I get 4, 2 times 4, 3 times 4, and 4 times 4, I'll get my y value. So I'm going to use my, my unit rate, my k, as 4, and I'll multiply it by x, and that will get me y. And I can also be sure that this works with the point zero, right? If this were, if x were zero, four times zero would be zero, which is what y should be on my table. So I know that also worked out. And we could use this equation if we needed to extend our table. So if we said, oh, I know that x is 10, what would y be? Well, in my rule, right, y is equal to four times whatever my x value is. So y, would be equal to 4 times 10, and it would be 40. So I can use that same um, constant rate of proportionality to figure out the value for y if I know any random letter value for x. Let's have a look at this second table, and it's telling us the amount of inches of rain that is comparable to what it would be down coming down as if it were coming down cold enough to be snow. And this tells us that two inches of rain would be the same as 20 inches of snow. And before we go further, I'm hoping you notice that there's something different about this table. Um, I noticed that the number of inches of rain here is not increasing by a steady number, right? It went up by one, by one, but then it went up by two. Um, but it doesn't mean this table is not proportional. We just need to find out with a few calculations if their ratio is staying consistent the whole way through. So I'll use um, rain as x and snow as y, and I'm going to do that same comparison of y over x to see if the ratio is consistent. And when I look at them, I can see 20 divided by 2, 30 divided by 3, and so on. They all simplify to 10, which means the unit rate or the unit ratio is consistently 10 every single time, so this is proportional. And it didn't matter that the table didn't grow by ones or by twos, right? It just matters that the ratio is um, the same throughout the entire relationship. So this must mean our k, our unit rate, is 10. 
And I know that if I multiply 2 times 10, 3 times 10, 4 times 10, right? My x value times 10 gets the y value. So my equation can be y equals 10x. And that's how I write my equation. And I can test that the point zero, 0,0 would be true as well, right? If I had 0 inches of rain and I multiplied, let's see over here, no, I'll just do it up here, x times 10, right, is my equation, equals 0, right? So that means it does go through the origin. And I can also do this if I want a random number. So let's say I want to say, oh, there are a, there's a half an inch of rain. If I multiply that by 10, that will tell me that there is five inches of snow. So I know that one half rain would be five inches of snow. I can use that to find other pieces of information. And while we most often see data in a table, we sometimes use diagrams like our old friend, the double number line, um, that also shows the relationship. So I have one here that shows the relationship of cups to ounces. And it's set up a little bit differently, but just like with a table, we can check that it is proportional by checking to see that ratio of y over x and make sure they're all the same. And of course it is. We can see that the ratio is always eight. Um, that's our unit of change. So that means k must be eight. And when we write our equation, therefore, we're going to write that y right, is equivalent to eight, our coefficient, times x. And again, we can use that to plug in and find various values. For example, if I had half a cup, right, I know that one half times eight would be four, and I could find the um, equivalent number of ounces. So the last one is for you to do on your own. You're gonna go ahead and figure out what K would be, and then you're gonna write your equation um, to show the relationship between X and Y. Um, this is proportional. So go ahead and find that. And remember that the essential question for the video is how do we write equations from proportional tables? Hopefully you've seen that now and you have a little bit understanding of that letter K. And be sure to have any questions, notes, um, and the answer to the final problem for class.